Hi, so what I'm going to show you here is just truly insane. So I'm going to have this OpenAI chatbot write me some code. So I'm going to get started right away and just ask it to write me some PowerShell to restart a Windows service, see if it knows how to do that. And of course, it has no problem doing that. Um, in fact, that was probably pretty easy for it. So um, what's it going to do next? Uh, let's give it something a little bit harder which is, you know, can it write me some PowerShell that actually resets my password in Active Directory? Um, and once again, it'll have uh, no big deal. So it's truly insane because you would never imagine that there'd be something that's just a lot more easier than, uh, you know, Stack Overflow in basically natural language processing here. So here's something a little bit harder and just a different, see it's a range. So I'm gonna say, can you help me write some Terraform script that sets an IP address of a VM? And guess what? You know, once again, um, in Azure, no issues. And, you know, what's next? So here, you could see it's, you know, setting the network interface, um, you know, giving me a very thorough template here. So let's ask it, you know, some other question, which um, might have to do with an API, you know, not necessarily a direct programming question. So it even gives like a long uh, explanation of how to use it. Now I'm gonna ask it, you know, is there a free API for me to look up weather information? So let's see if it knows an answer to that. And look how quick it is. You know, it uh, <laughs> doesn't bat an eye. And it's, um, you know, telling me, hey, you know, that's how you look it up. Um, now, I want it to be a little bit more detailed. So uh, I'm going to ask it, you know, can you give me a sample call? for an API that gets me weather information. And of course it gets a little bit more detailed now, it gives me the API call and actually gives me a lot more information here. So, okay, so that's not bad. Um, now let's give it another simpler uh, problem here. So you could see it's even uh, you know, giving me some JSON here, some sample JSON. So, so notice that uh, however detailed I ask the question, it's however detailed it will respond. So another question here, let's do something simple. Let's see its um, range in Excel programming. So does it know the VLOOKUP? And of course, it has no problem doing that. All right, so all of that was a little bit too simple for it, you know, so let's get something that has to do with algorithms. So a very common leak code question is, you know, the palindromes, basically a string that's the same forwards and backwards. So in a long, very long string, you know, can it actually create an algorithm for me in C++. So can you give me some C++ code that quickly finds the longest palindrome in a string? So let, let's see what it's gonna do there. So, <laughs> and of course you'll, you'll see, you know, it's giving me the includes there. You know, it's writing the C++ template And you'll notice it's, um, you know, in fact, it's, it's writing some code that has multiple, multiple uh, functions here. And it's actually explaining to you what the functions are. So this is one of the um, more moderate hard questions in lead code. So it even explains, okay, what's a palindrome, you know, and within that particular string. So that's kind of interesting. All right, now let's do something a little bit more functional. Let me ask it, can you give me some sample code in C-sharp that allows me to screen scrape HTML for addresses? So notice what it's doing here. 
you know, it's, it is giving me screen scraping code, even uh, regex. So see here, it, it actually didn't do exactly what I mentioned. It's simply reading from the string. It's not actually, so let's see, let's see what it's doing here. So it does have a set of addresses that I want to match on, you know, so this isn't very efficient code here, but let's see what it says before here. So can you give me some code? And it says, this content may violate content policy. If you believe it's an error, submit your feedback. So it didn't really like that for some reason. And I wonder if I could phrase it a certain way. So if I say, can I, can I get code from, can I, can I parse out the addresses in an HTML page? Can I get some code to, how about phrasing it that way? Okay, so it didn't like that either, but let's see what it's doing here. So it, said, it does have the parse addresses but it's basically giving me the same exact code. So this is not very good. And, and I guess I could basically respond here by um, entering in the policy, you know, why I think this there's no issue here. But it does give me an explanation and it gives me a further warning here. So, all right, let, let's skip this one. Let's, let's go more for, um, you know, some, something a little bit more straightforward. So can you write me some code in Java using this quick sort algorithm to, to, uh, for generic types, to sort generic types? So once again, you know, so it actually did understand the question and it's um, creating a function in quick sort. So quick sort's just another sorting algorithm like bubble sort. And it is in a, generic list here. So that's kind of neat. Um, but that's really it. You know, um, you know, try this out yourself. It is pretty amazing that, you know, uh, it can actually do that. Now, I, I want to say that this chat does not uh, do every, so it's not just for programming, but it's interesting here. So for example, if I ask for its opinion on something, it, it, it'll have a response that uh, may surprise you. So um, I can write, who do you think will win the World Cup? And it's going to say, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it doesn't provide opinions on sports events. Its primary function is to assist users with generating human-like text based in the out input that I receive. I do not have any personal thoughts or beliefs. I am not able to access external information such as current events or sports news. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting. So, so it basically does want to stick to the facts here, uh, which is kind of neat. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's really it. Uh, definitely try this out yourself at openai.com, you know, register, open, uh, account. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I thought this was just uh, very amazing. Um, talk about, uh, you know, a giant leap in uh, basically replacing developers and software engineers. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what it does. Uh, but you'll notice that it had a wide range of knowledge, you know, what, for whether it's PowerShell, Terraform, C++, C Sharp, Java, you know, probably React, uh, Angular, Vue.js, whatever. You know, probably uh, easily um, take on anything. So, uh, more so than a human, definitely. All right. Um, I guess uh, here's our new AI chatbot overlords. And hopefully they'll be nice to us when they take over. And uh, thank you so much for watching.